if the pH and the bicarbonate are both in the same direction it is metabolic. When the pH goes, so goes my patient except for potassium. Macusmol. M for metabolic, and AC is for acidosis, overventilate underventilate translate. Overventilate is respiratory alkalosis. And underventilating is respiratory acidosis. Acid base balance. If they give you arterial blood gas value convert it to words. Example. Metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis. Respiratory acidosis, and respiratory alkalosis. To pass the exam you should know the normal values of the pH, CO2, and HCO3. pH normal level is 7.35 to 7.45. CO2 normal level is 45 to 35. And normal HCO3 level is 22 to 26. Acidotic if pH level is less than 7.35. And alkalotic if pH level is more than 7.45. Keep this in your mind and memorize the rule of B's. If the pH and the bicarbonate are both in the same direction, then it is metabolic. Then if they are in different direction, then it is respiratory. They will give you arterial blood gas with 8 values in it. You will look at pH and bicarbonate. Then look at the direction that they are going in. If they are both down or both up. Basically in the same direction. Then they are both metabolic. If they are in different directions. It is respiratory. You get the acidosis. And alkalosis from pH equals to 7.35 to 7.45. pH down it is acidotic. And pH up it is alkalosis. The normal values for bicarbonate is 22 to 26. To remember this. Think of these are the decision years of life. The bicarbonate years is what job to take, getting married, and having kids. These decisions give you heartburn so you need bicarbonate. Also remember it as 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. So the bicarbonate normal value will be 22 to 26. If pH of 7.5 and bicarbonate of 25. What would this be? It is respiratory. Alkalosis. Why? Because the pH is high. And the bicarbonate is within the normal range of 22 to 26. Therefore, the pH is high. And the bicarbonate is normal. So they are going in different directions. Then it is respiratory alkalosis. PaCO2 is 35 to 45 mm Hg is the normal range. When the PaCO2 is elevated then you have a respiratory acidosis. And when it is low you have respiratory alkalosis. When the PaCO2 is opposite from the pH. It is a respiratory issue. So for example. pH will be elevated with a decreased PaCO2. This means that it is alkalosis. And then when the pH is decreased and the PaCO2 is elevated is acidosis. Please take note on this. If you don't know the answer, don't give up, you know it is just a test, to test you on applying principle. And not to remember, not to memorizing lists and lists will never be tested. Because all books have different lists, it needs to be a fair question for everyone using any book from anywhere nationally. Please consider this for select all that apply questions, is your chance to show you know principle. Principle for acid-base questions. As the pH goes down, 
my patient down, as in person shut down. And if pH goes up, then patient goes up. Meaning more hyper excitable except for potassium. Remember this potassium goes in different ways. If patience goes up it is alkalosis we will see irritability. Hyperreflexia with positive 3 and 4, the positive 2 is normal reflex. And positive 1 and 0 are hyporeflexia. So. If the patient goes up as in alkalosis it is the same as in pH greater than 7.45, we will be seeing a hyperreflexia of positive 3 and 4. Tachypnea, tachycardia. And borborygmi, the increased or active bowel sounds. And if patient's vital signs are down, it would be acidosis, you would see hyporeflexia. Bradycardia obtunded or lethargic paralytic ileus the blockage of the intestine due to paralysis and inactivity of the intestinal muscles and worst thing is coma please take note on this the acid base imbalances that needs an ambuvag is acidosis so if you encounter a question what acid base imbalance needs an ambuvag at the bedside the answer is thought the acidosis. Because due to acidosis patient will go down. So they will have a respiratory arrest. Next is what acid base imbalances that need suction machines at the bedside. The answer will be alkalosis because they can seize an ASPI rate. Which needs suction again. Alkalosis, because they could seize an ASPI rate. So, the rule is, as the pH goes, so does my patient, except for potassium, who know Mac Cosmols. Every time you hear Cosmols think Mac you will only see this with metabolic disorder so, M is for metabolic, and A, C is for acidosis. Cosmol's breathing are compensatory pattern for one and only one acid-based disorder such as metabolic acidosis. They are abnormally deep and increased in rate. It is also occurs in diabetic ketoacidosis. Okay. Let's practice some questions. Tell me which are, up, and which are, down. Plus one reflexes, diarrhea, Adenamic ileus, spasm, urinary retention, paroxysmal, atrial fibrillation, tachycardia, type 2 heart block, and hypokalemia. Take time to answer this. Okay. Now let's look at plus 1 reflexes, it is down and select for cusmals. Diarrhea, it is up. Adenamic ileus, failure of passage of enteric contents due to paralysis of intestinal motility, so. It is down, select for cusmols. Spasm is up, no select, urinary retention, is down. Paroxysmal, is sudden intensification of symptoms such as spasm, or seizure, is up, no select. Atrial fibrillation, is up, no select, tachycardia is up. Type 2 heart block, is down, and select, for cusmols. And, hypokalemia, is up. Try to remember the most common mistake made by test takers with select all that apply questions, that they are selecting one more than you should. And the tendency for people to answer one too many. If you know it's two, then select those, then stop. And if you continue, well, it could be then, you're heading down wrong road and that is so bad. And if you don't know, then don't pick it. Do not pick it. Sada questions will never be only one, and never be all of the choices. Okay.
let's study the causes, causes are something would be the opposite of what the signs and symptoms are. Listen to this. Example. Diarrhea will cause metabolic acidosis. But, once acidotic resolved it will slow down. And you will get paralytic ileus. Make sure you know if asking about cause or sign and symptoms, to answer acid base imbalance. Now how you would know if it is respiratory, or, not. Okay. Try, to ask yourself. Is it lungs? If yes. Then it is respiratory. Is the client over, or under, ventilating? Here let's differentiate. Over means alkalosis, and under means acidosis. For overventilating, think of respiratory situations. Then over is most related to alkalosis because over is above normal. Please take note that respiratory rate is not the ventilating. Ventilation is the gas exchange in the lungs, you know you inhale then gas exchange happen to the lungs to your bronchioles. So ventilating is not respiratory rate, it is the gas exchange. They could be breathing really fast but not ventilating well, for you to identify if it is over ventilating check their O2 saturation. Take a look with this. If patient is on P, C, A, pump and getting too much, it would decrease ventilation, so patient, will be under ventilating, and it will cause respiratory acidosis. Next. If a child drowned what acid base imbalance would it be at fault? The child would have been under ventilating, so this child would have respiratory acidosis. Your patient has emphysema and air trapping in the lung? Is he over ventilating on under ventilating? Ventilating does not mean respiratory rate. Respiratory rate is irrelevant. Another example. Pneumonia in four lobes of the lungs. With respiratory rate of 50, and O2 saturation is 75 on O2 at 8 liters per minute. This person is under ventilating even though their rate is 50 apparently a fast rate. Pay attention to O2 saturation rather than respiratory rate. Okay. Next one. Identify if it is metabolic or not. Ask yourself. What if it is not lungs? Then it's metabolic, there is only one scenario that would result in metabolic alkalosis. Let's say patient has prolonged gastric vomiting. Or suctioning too much, it will be metabolic alkalosis. Why? Loosing acids, the acidity level in GI is becoming basic. Always remember everything else that is not lungs. It will be metabolic acidosis. Here in examples, NG tube at low suction for 3 days, it is metabolic alkalosis. Hyperemesis gravidarum, a complication in pregnancy where patient has severe nausea, vomiting that can cause weight loss, and electrolyte disturbances. It is metabolic alkalosis. When they continue to have vomiting they become dehydrated. What acid base balance is this? So now they got dehydrated, it is not prolonged gastric vomiting, this not always you see is what it is, so now what do they have? It is metabolic acidosis. What if renal failure? It is not lung, not vomiting or suctioning, then it has to be metabolic acidosis. Now if an infant having diarrhea? It is not vomiting, not suctioning, then it is metabolic acidosis. The third degree burns with dehydration, it is not lung, not vomiting or suctioning, it very simple that it has to be metabolic acidosis. Note on this one always remember that if you don't know what it is, it always be metabolic acidosis. 
you will never miss a questions and it is 100% chance to get the correct answer if you are using this principle. Let us summarize our topic. All you need to know for acid-base balance is If the pH and the bicarbonate are both In the same direction it is metabolic. When the pH goes, so goes my patient except for potassium. Maccusmol M for metabolic, and AC is for acidosis, overventilate underventilate translate. Overventilate is respiratory alkalosis. And underventilating is respiratory acidosis. Ambubag is acidosis and suction is for alkalosis. Is it lung? If yes then, it is respiratory. Okay. Now. All you need to know for acid-base balance is. Okay say it with me. Number 1, if the pH and the bicarbonate are both in the same direction it is metabolic. Number 2, when the pH goes, so goes my patient except for potassium. Number 3, Maccusmol. M for metabolic and AC is for acidosis. Number 4, overventilate underventilate translate. Overventilate is respiratory alkalosis. And underventilating is respiratory acidosis. Ambubag is acidosis and suction is for alkalosis. Is it lung? If yes then, it is respiratory. Is it overventilating or underventilating? If it is overventilating is alkalosis and if it is underventilating it is acidosis. Number 5, pay more attention to the modifying phrase than the original noun. For example, person with OCD who is now in psychotic state. And a patient with vomiting who is now dehydrated.